can get the JV5 every now and then. It's like a nice throwback. Yeah, exactly. So we got loser's quarters here, and Rachu, this is where he's dangerous on those plats. Let's see what he does with it. And Brody's able to, I don't know if he's able to DI or he kind of just happened to be over that gap, but he's able to make it down to the main part of the stage, which is what you need to do against Rachu if you're being hit. Oh, that Nair is not really the best option. Maybe he wanted an up air. Yeah, and Rachu just like, always seems to pick the right option when recovering. Yeah. Like first we saw that, uh, Good oh, jam, knowledge. Yeah, that was very smart from Brody. But Rachu now is going to be over the stage. Oh, and he tries to stall with that down B. Oh, he makes it back. With the perfect land, too. That was a good try. And he's so crafty. And as a Nest player, <laughs> say one thing about Nest players, say they're crafty. They have to be. They really do. Uh, and players like Rachu, they're using every single move in their toolkit. Um, I mean, we, we know what's really good for Ness, and he knows the things that are sort of good that are th that'll throw you off on top of that. And the crowd is absolutely was screaming when Rachu took that stock. Oh. And Rachu just in a perfect position to get hit there. Goes right back on stage, but Brody just carrying the pressure. Oh, man, and that almost hit, but that F, F smash, rather, will do it. Brody showing great execution, finishing off Rachu's stocks. Oh, and great up tilt there. Doesn't get much off of it. No, it was a good escape by Brody with that up B. Probably wanted F tilt there, but uh, still making it work out. Yeah, this is going to be a very tough recovery. Oh, and Brody picking a bad option. Yeah, but I don't think he'll ever get rid of that one. It's a great up escape as well. Yeah, and Rachu, uh, he's been getting some good hits, but not quite the conversions that we're used to seeing. Uh, getting a, probably about 50% every time he gets a hit, and Brody just so good at, with that DI, that combination of DI and just up being away, uh, just to reset neutral where he's really been shining. Yeah, I completely agree. It's very good timing on those up escapes. I thought, uh, we're, we're going to see him up the end of the <laughs> up the there. And game one decisively in Brody's favor. Yeah, quick three stock. Um, yeah. This is what we normally expect in the matchup, but uh, if anyone can make it look otherwise, I, I think it's Raichu. Agreed. And I think you were you hit it on the head when you said he really didn't get the conversions that we're used to uh, seeing him get. So he did land some hits in neutral, and of course. Uh, he's crafty, but Brody's such a good player. Um, and when you play people at, at Brody's level, um, your recoveries are, you're going to have to you know, make the most of your time on stage because you're not going to recover as much as you would uh, against other players, no matter how crafty you are, right? So when he does land hits in neutral, he's got to get these conversions. There's that, what we saw Brody try before that resulted in reverse ledge DI. Oh, and the pivot up tilt, something we don't normally see from Ness. Oh, and <laughs> makes what him tumble. was that? That was beautiful. And man. That is just goes back to what you said about him using that full arsenal of moves. And not only using the full arsenal of moves, but using the moves in just very unique ways. Oh, and uh, just floats that in there. You know, before he was trying, he was doing a lot of uh, down smashes on plat, uh, using it as, as uh, bait. Look at that, Raichu with a lead here. Yeah, and this is the difference we see when Raichu just converts uh, his hits the way he wants to. And he opts to use that early. Maybe a good move. Oh, and they get up attack. Yeah. Yeah, that neutral be not quite paying off, but uh, really, it's kind of hard to think of another option that would work there. Yeah, and he was close. He wasn't very far off, right? Uh, Oh, and that up tilt can be so devastating. Yeah, just de a great defensive option against a lot of characters, um, especially against Ness, who likes to approach from above using that down air. Yeah, and if that down air landed, this could be a different match right now. He stalls for a second there, and it would have gotten him back to the ledge, but Brody with a nice heads-up play with that edge hog. Good spacing from Brody here. Yeah, just walking away after that uh, down air. Oh, and he thought Brody was going to come right in, but a nice hesitation from Brody. And trying to keep him on the plats here. Yeah, and Brody great. wisely dying away and escaping. Yeah.
Good near. Ooh, and Brody was so close to landing that back air. Oh, maybe that baited him in a bit, that, that up smash. He thought he had more time to get in with that down air. And Brody with a nice up tilt, finishes it off in style. Another down B. I think that's what really gets Brody going. He loves those. That must be his favorite move. Yeah. Just uh, some, like, you know, it works well enough. Yeah. And it just has just enough disrespect on top of it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't feel good to get hit by that. It no, really it never does. We'll see if Raichu can uh, get going what he had at the beginning of that game, too. As yeah. far as positioning, I don't know. He might want to opt uh, to stay a little higher because Brody seemed to have a really good read uh, for when Raichu was trying to throw out those up tilts. And if he did it a little too early, Brody was always in there with a, with an attack. Yeah, and I think maybe he had some other options besides, like, right there he finishes the stock, but he's got to take the safe option when it comes to his, uh, his platform pressure, you know? Oh, that was nice. So Damn. fast. Good get-up attack, though, from Brody. Yeah, and the no-tech uh, paying off for Raichu there. Getting that tech in place. Ooh, and that won't do it. So close. Yeah, it's still at a good percent, though. Uh, any grab will kill here. Yep, and there it is. that's what I was talking about with that down smash that he uses as, as bait. Yeah. I think a lot of people who don't play Ness don't realize how quickly uh, that move ends, and he's able to do something again. And yeah. so he'll do it on the top platform and bait you in, and then he'll get his shield up, and, and you push him off with shield. Ness, of course, if you push Ness off a platform and shield, he can be so quick to DJC and follow up with an up air or down air. Yeah, and that was uh, something I noticed playing Raichu is I felt like I couldn't trade with him if he still had a second jump because he would just come in back in so fast and just uh, counterattack with that double jump. Ooh. Oh, so slick. So quick, yeah. Oh. Very, oh, very that'll nice. That'll do it. This is looking uh, a lot different than the first two games. Yeah, and that was uh, that was a very wise decision to take the stock when you had it instead of going for a, a down air and then having to get a tech read for a grab or something on Brody on the top plat. He knew that that up air was going to end it. And Brody uh, keeping it simple here. Probably just needs to grab ledge, and there it yeah. is. And that was, but that was still a fantastic sort of uh, momentum stall with that down B. Yeah, uh, Raichu, um, even though Brody's so on top of his edge guarding, he's, Raichu is making him work really hard for it. <gasps> wow. Oh, oh man, just Raichu him. looking like a beast right now. That was, man, he really has to just play out of his mind to win against a, a Pikachu of this caliber, and he's doing some really cool things. And lo Ooh. Ooh, just misses that grab. <gasps> That'll do it. Yeah, and Raichu. Just smothering him there. He looked incredible. That yeah. was some fantastic nest play. Some really cool stuff. Using that up B kind of in an early spot. And Brody thinking that he's going to be able to, I don't know, get a hit out of it. And he hits him with it. And then that uh, that neutral B, that PK fire was so cool as well. Yeah. And like we've seen Nesses at this level before, but not quite the style. Like Rach is just definitely just such a unique player in his own right. Uh, I agree. Uh, I think that. Yeah, we, we see Ness, yeah, you said it You said it exactly right. I just haven't seen these moves used in this way before. Because we got that use of, uh, you know, that up B just to reset um, the tech situations. Up smashes the kill, you know? Yeah, just knows what to do and it's really, really fun to watch. And he's giving Brody a lot more trouble now. Interesting that he... Oh. And there's that stall. But I think maybe he used it a bit early. Brody yeah. waits it out that time and then goes low. Going deep for it. Oh, and he tried to kind of stall there too. Like, instead of fast falling, he uses that nair. But he's still caught by that up tilt. That top plat will save him though. Yeah, uh, good on Raichu not to, you know, fast fall through. Um, I think that was very smart of him just to stay safe up there. Yeah, and he lets uh, himself get a little too close to the stage. Brody resets his jumps. And now Brody up two stocks here. Ooh, very quick conversion. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. 
Screaming like lunatics. I don't blame them. I love it. I just don't want to break the viewer's ears, otherwise I'd do the same thing. Ooh, oh, perfect so timing close. from Brody there. Yeah, I actually thought that that down air was going to stay out longer than the duration of the uh, invincibility. That might do it. Yep, right <laughs> at the ledge. 63% gets the KO. Wow, and Raichu now with a lead. And oh, that down. You see, Brody was just waiting there with that down tilt. Uh, I wish he was a little more careful on that. You have to pay attention to that because, you know, obviously when a character is going to use a down tilt, it comes from a crouching position. So you can kind of see it being telegraphed. We got something started here. The grab. Is that it? Game yes, it five. Is. Oh, my God. And Raichu taking Brody to game five. I did not expect this, even after uh, last game's victory for Raichu. And all the momentum on Raichu's side. So two straight victories. And, and he looked so good doing it. And uh, let's see if Brody can turn this momentum around, slow this game down maybe, and just got to take Net Net Ness's heart out of it with some big edge guards. Yeah, because, uh, you know, from Pikachu's side, you can keep it really simple in this matchup. But... Brody just hasn't had the openings that he wants to keep that simplicity. And then he went in for a forward smash with that bat. Oh, and again, just kind of waltzing, waltzing his way back on stage with a, a few couple of mix-ups. Look, and he was just waiting for him there. Oh, and he was almost able to land that grab, but Brody with a great up escape. Saves his stock right there. Man, he is wow. so good at knowing the distance that he can be safe uh, to use that up B. Yeah, kind of reminds me of LD's recovery, you know, just uh, baiting out the Pikachus where they <laughs> look like they should hit him and just don't quite do it. I completely agree. Oh, and that was that perfect land, but Brody's right there for that forward throw. It's going to be an easy edge hog if, if nothing else. Yeah, and Brody does keep it even. Uh, despite the flash from Raichu, it's still going to be difficult for him to take this. Oh, tries a get-up attack. Brody wise enough to stay away from it. Another yeah, he's been spacing those out quite a bit this uh, set, I think. Oh, and he f airs. It's got to be a mistake. And Rachel uses some di to. Oh, and oh, so <laughs> smart from Brody, adjusting with that up B now. Rachel going for that up B again that he did last time to put him into tumble, and oh, he knows he can't get back, so he just sends it upward. Yeah, and uh, that up B from Brody changed so much. That could have been a stock if uh, Raichu continued that. Forcing Raichu to recover again. Oh, to reverse it on the back air, so. Wow, and that was an incredibly tricky recovery there from Raichu, but that shield pressure. Yeah, Brody really keeping the pressure on here. He doesn't want Raichu to get any more momentum like he did in the last two games. And yeah, we see that neutral B work there for him, but not enough to get him back. And Raichu on his tournament stock. Raichu has to be uh, very careful with these down airs. This is what's been getting him a lot, is Brody just gets a an up tilt. Oh, <laughs> and we see it again. He didn't have any other option to, to connect, I don't even think, but certainly not with taking a stock. Oh, and just a little too early, uh, trying to catch Brody at the end of his in invincibility. Just not quite. And there it, there is. it is, yeah. Brody wisely just sticks with him. What a showing from Raichu, though. Yeah, that was I, a I 